Dependent rear lights. Mm. So the normal, so this is our Model S, but all Defender rear lights have this red thing and the white, and there's your indicators. And they're a little bit different in the US actually. Some of their configurations are slightly different, but they look the same, how they operate may change. But the Defender X, which was the, ooh, so nice Defender, the top of the range one, had a few little extra bits on it. And one of the little distinguishing features is the rear lights. You can see their smoke. So we are gonna show you how to swap your lights. Now you may want to do it to upgrade the Model X, or it may just be you got cracked, damaged, broken. But straight away you can see that where you might have thought this was a light unit and this was one, you can see it's all one big thing together. You can see it looks like it's got a bit of a bulb holder. I expect it's all LED. Has it got a bulb in here? I don't know. No, it's just got wiring. So it's all a sealed unit. There's nothing to replace on here. There's your electrical connector. So let's have a look, how's it fixed on? So we've got these little sort of docking nipples. Can we call them that? We've got one, two, three there. Looks like we're gonna have a fixing screw here, bolt here. So we've got two bolts and we've got one here. So that's gonna be somewhere, where's that gonna be? He's lurking. He's gonna be lurking somewhere in behind there. So we'll have a little look now. I did look at this before, and the genuine instructions, the Land Rover instructions, say you have to remove this top panel. And I've done the video, and I'll put the little link there. But I got in a right pickle because what you have to, these are just clippered on these panels, and when you pull them off, but the, it's two panels bonded together, but the, the bonding of the panels gave way before the clips did. Um, now, I don't know if that's because the clips are good or the bonding is bad, you decide. But I replaced the... I, I riveted them together as a sort of nostalgic touch, but you can see all that in that video. Now, it was telling me when I was looking at this that you needed to take this out to get the lights out. But if you look at it, I, um, I reckon we might better do it without. We'll have a go, because I think that will save you a bit of time, but we may have to, because um, how high up is that? Because that, yeah, that is tucked up just under there, isn't it? But we'll see how we go. Clearly, we've got to take this panel out. We have got the checker plate ones, um, and they just pull out. I've done a video on that, but we'll do that now, and then we'll have a look and see how we go. So let me put that back over there. Well, let's grab a let's grab a trim tool or two and get busy. Right then, I can't remember. I've been, now these ones here, these the original ones are made from ABS, and these are a bit softer. They're polypropylene PP. And they're a little bit soft and um, they're not quite so good, but we'll have a look. Now these, I'm going to make this look super easy now, but I'll tell you, there's a pig. And let me put the link to the video where I take this panel off uh, and re to replace these. I'll put the link there because that may give you a, a more representative idea of me doing it from scratch. Because you don't scratch it painting it. Right, let me get down this side. There we go. And there you go. You can hear the clips breaking and popping. Go on. Go on, Tiger. Right. Whoa. Whoa. Doesn't sound good, does it? No, it does not sound good at but all. But you've got a you've got these sort of locating pins when you come to put it in, and you've got these plastic clips here. I haven't done too bad. I've lost one here. Um and then you've got these little side, you can see there they've got a little thing that locates into these little, and it's actually on the rear light housing if you see. So that's how that sort of comes off. Again, you may have the smooth painted one, but there's my roughly tufty checker plate accessory one. Right, what's that? Now, so we, we can already see we've got these two fittings here. Right, so we're, we're, we're cool. We can see the connector and the wires come in the bottom here. Right, now we've got to take this inner plastic panel out. Now I'm going to take this top panel out as per the instructions. I was going to cut a corner, but let's, let's take it out and see whether we need to really. So we've got to take this plastic trim out here, which just pulls out. All right, and then we're going to get the, this panel here should lever out. Let's have a look, sorry. All right, and then it should. Oh, let me 
Let me show that. In fact, let's close the door a little bit and you can see how that works. So you probably will not get, this is two panels stuck together. So you've got the back panel, okay, and the front panel, and they're sort of bonded together. You can see these sort of marks here, and they're supposed to be ultrasonically staked together. Now mine came apart. Um, you could just glue them back together, no problem. Um, but I, I went for the thing. Right, so let's, so that's that out of the way. I didn't show you the clips, did I? You can see the yellow clips here. Yeah. That just clip in, and it literally just presses in. Right, let's get and have a look now whether we can get. Now that's given us a bit more access, and then I need to get, I need to get this plastic panel here out. So let me, let me lever that. There you go. Right, that's coming, isn't it? Right. It's a bit of a palaver for a rear light, but we'll, we're going with it. Right, so you see how it's split here intentionally to let this, this must be the rear wash wipe cable come out there. Right. I can see another clip. Can you just peek in there, George? Can you see that little yellow clip lurking in there? No. No. A little yellow clip lurking in there. There Whoa. we go. You can see him now, right? Yeah. Right, so I... Right, do you reckon there's another one? I reckon there might be, there might be one more. <laughs> Something's popped off at the bottom. We'll have a look at that. This, now I'm doing it on this side and it's a lot, obviously a lot trickier because we've got this, this going through here. All right, and I should, and we've got this cable. It's a lot easier on the other side, but better I'll show you the tricky side, eh? Right. And that should squeeze through there. Right, so let's have a look. What have we got here? We have got one clip here, one clip here. It looks like we should have a plastic, one of those little plastic clips on there. They always disappear. And we, that all looks okay. Now there was something that flew off at the bottom. Ah, that's a little trim clip there. That's a little fir tree clip that goes in there so that's that side and the other side should be much the same um, I think you got the little trim clip there take the rubber seal off but that's a lot easier because you haven't got to mess about with all that wiring right that's that out right so I think we're ready to whoop that light out now let's do it let's do it right got a 10 millimeter socket right, let's... And can I give that to you? That's quite a long one, George. So let's have a look at the others and see if they're all the same size. All right, so I think that's all we need for there. In the light again now. I'll show you something in a minute. I'm a bit puzzled by this little bit of, of trim. I'll show you this. They're the same, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Right, and then we've got a third one down here. There we go. So this, we can, a couple of things to note. So the water does run down and you can see it's all wet on here. It's been raining today. So these rear lights are sort of outside the weatherproof thing. That's the weather there. Puzzled me when I did the other side in my own time the other day was this little bit of tape here. They've put a little bit of tape here. No one's really interested in this, but these things fascinate me. And I thought, I wonder what that bit of tape does. And look, it just goes inside. So they've put it there on purpose to either stop a rattle or to push this trim panel. You zoom back a bit, join, or to push this trim panel here that way. So I'm a little bit confused, but I was also a little bit worried because when that's on there, if you look, the waterproofing is done with these foam washers on the back. Here. Each of these things has got a, and it's made quite a sort of dent around the foam washer. I was a little bit concerned about that, but right, it must be the, I think they must have an alignment issue. But there we go. Who knows? Mystery. Always a little mystery with this. Thing. Always a little mystery. Right. So we reckon that should be ready to come off now, don't we? Ah, so it had those little nipply things, didn't it? So we should just be able to gently prise it off. There you go. There we go. That was easier than there. expected. Yeah. 
Right, it's biting me a little bit on something. What's it biting me on? There we go. Right. Disconnect the power. Power, yeah. Oh, we got. Oh, we got some some wire. I think it might be sort of using it as a guide. Oh no, it's just that cable that we had earlier. Um, careful with that. In fact, that's already got a little. It's got a little dent in that. I don't know if I've done that. Well, that's a a design. Oh no, that's where it goes through. That's where it goes through that panel. Can you focus? On? We'll have a look at that in a minute, George. Right. Let's get this. Let's get this light off. Right, there we go. So if we push that there, and boop, okay. So that's how that you've got to push that little button there, and that is the light off. Let's just have a look what's happening. What I'm thinking, um, do you think where it goes through that little area there is that about where whew, where that has got that crease mark on it? It is. Look, it's in line with that. I'm a bit worried that that, well, we will see time. Oh no, it's up there, isn't it? It's up there. What's up there? Oh yeah, I'll put that in. Dish, dish, dish is up there somewhere. I wonder if it's got caught on that bit of trim. Who knows? Right, might be me taking it out, but I don't think so, because it's staying there. Right, so there's the light out. Well, let's see if these new ones work. There could be a problem with them. What have I done with the light, George? There it is. No, it's not. There's rubbish Is it everywhere. inside? Is it think? inside? Oh! There we go. Right, so let's have a look. That all looks, it all looks the same. Right, and let's have a look. Okay. Hopefully there's no special recoding needed. Right. That should click. Are you got it clicking? There yeah, we go. That clicks. Right. I just got to be careful of my hoses. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. It's this there. There you go. Yeah, that seems to be it. Yeah. It's a bit, but it's not bolted in yet. I'll bolt it in loosely. Where's I got the box? box. Right. Ah, look, it's the wrong, and why the wrong side of that bit there. I'm gonna to have to do that again because this this bit of plastic at the back here, the lamp needs to be behind that. All right, let's have a go again. Right, I think I've got it that time. I'll just get one of those in for that. And check this all right at the bottom. Spin around here. Yeah, so we got the we've got this. Let me get the light so you can see that. Because this is obviously the trick. We've got to make sure we've got the light behind this bit of plastic here. And then we should be able to get that one in there. Right. Let's just check all these are out of the way. Yeah, so that's where it's got that little crease up there. So we've got to be careful with that. Oh, careful where that goes. Yeah, I think it goes down there. Right, let's get the rest of those bolts in. Right, it's going to replace one of those white clips on that bit there that was missing. Um, right, let me just got to try and get that back on. Wiggle. That looks complicated. How are you going to do that? Get it into there. Look. Second wire comes, he comes around this front bit here. That's it. Okay. Back bit around this strut there. Yeah. It's this strut at the bottom here. We've got to get it behind that, the door strut there. And then he should line up, push that one back in there. Right. So there, yeah, that. That one there clips back into here. Where's he going? That's it, get him the right way around. Right. And that little, see that little fit in there? He should go into a hole behind there somewhere. That's it. There we right. go. That all looks cushy. Right, 
we've got that. Then the rubber trim. You've got when you put this rubber trim on, you sort of got to pull this this inner layer out like that, so it goes around the inside of that. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, let me finish that. You don't want to watch me do all that. Be careful when you put this bit on. Um, I had it out here a little bit, and there's a little sort of clip you've got to put in. So make sure all this is flush against the light when you do that. I missed that first time, so watch that. Let me get someone to do it this side. Ah, right, look, you can see the pin here. You've got to make sure that pin is back in those holes, and then it'll slide forward. And then it should clip back in. They clip back in lovely, but pulling them out you'll find is fun. Right, and then, right, I'll clip that last bit on. That'll just push on. Right, there we have it. So, Defender X rear lights and the standard rear lights. George will give you a little tour around there, just so you can see the difference. I'm going to jump in the car and we'll go through some functions and see if they actually work. Let's see if we've got all the light functions. Right, George, you give them a zoom in. They're working. Yep. 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 Yeah. Let's get a comparison of them. They're about the same brightness. It's not. So yeah, they've obviously accounted for that smokeness. So there we go. They look equally cool at night. Model X Defender lights, we'll put some, we'll try and get those on the website. Good luck with that.